established in 1946, the gateway to the United States Air Force has gone through Lackland Air Force Base in San Antonio, Texas. Over 70 years later, a lot has changed. The bus ride from the airport, however, remains the same. Fit fam, what's good? Mick here, back with another reaction video. I wasn't gonna really do this reaction video, but then I thought to myself, if I did all the other branches, why not go ahead and do the Air Force? Drop your comments, I do wanna know what you think. Um, everybody has their own mission. Hey, this is a reaction video, so hey, I'm gonna interject. I'm gonna probably say words here and there, but for the most part, I'll probably try to keep it quiet, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, go ahead and watch the video in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about Air Force BMT. If you were Air Force, when did you go through the training? And let's talk. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and let's get into the video. It's in these moments. If you're watching this video, it's a reaction video, so I'm gonna be talking. Basically, I'm gonna talk. I'm to adjust a lot. Not being able to sleep in. Not being able to de kind of do a lot of the stuff you kind of take for granted. I just know if anyone here is still wearing a hat or has their hood up, take it off or put it down. I'd say. Anxiety. What were your thoughts on the bus? Is part of it. At least with me, I kind of get in my own head a little too much. You know, in the back of your mind, all this is done to break you down, to build you back up stronger than you were. But it's different when you have someone yelling at you, just bring your face down again. And I believe in this branch, and I'd love to be a part of this branch, and so I'm not going to quit. And I expect to have bad days while I'm basic. I expect to have moderately good days. Slowly but surely, individuals begin to realize the impact of working together. The flight becomes a team. The beautiful sound. I definitely have flashbacks to first week and zero week, and I see myself, and I, I don't even recognize myself because I was I was I was in a shell and I was scared, and now I'm, I feel brave and that I can accomplish a lot more things than what zero week me would have accomplished. might not have been moving with a purpose, you know, like yeah, other branches, but... Me. I got encouragement from my wingman. I, uh, I learned a lot through everything the Air Force taught me here, here in this, this past eight weeks. And I, you know, and I, I just feel confident. I feel prepared. Family and friends make the same trip from the airport to recognize their airmen's accomplishments. I just want to spend time with my family. I feel, uh, I feel accomplished, of course. I feel confident. Uh, it's a great feeling. I feel, you know, like I said before, it's good to be a part of something bigger than myself. That's Air for Force sure, man. basic military training doesn't take civilians and turn them into airmen. It molds them with precision and intent to supply the world's greatest Air Force with only those who seek to aim high, fly, fight, and win. Ooh, got that brim tilt. If there's any TIs back there, I want to know how comfortable your uh, campaign hat would. If y'all call it campaign hats, like the uh, Army Drill Sergeant. Because that band on that hat was looking real comfortable. aspect of that but uh, in the army we don't do that we just jump right in there
I just feel like they're moving so slow though, like, like there's no purpose, you know? Just from an army point of view, it's like, hurry up, hurry up, get your stuff together. Are they wearing cold weather tops or is those wet weather tops? In the comments down below, if you're Air Force, let me know if that's a cold weather or a wet weather top. And why are they wearing it with their uh, physical training uniform? Academics on. Every branch has a portion where they get their academics on. That's cool. I will tell you one thing if one person has their top off, everybody has to have their top off. That's just how we do in the Army, at least. Uniformity at its finest. So that's a little different. We're going to be sitting here talking to young trainees about your life experiences. And it all starts. Man, even their obstacle course looks nice. For all my Air Force homies out there, what was the hardest part of BMT for you all? Drop your comments down below, I wanna know. I mean, for the most part, obstacle course training is seems pretty, pretty fair across the board for uh, all branches. I mean, you're gonna have climbing stuff, crawling stuff, running stuff, uh, swinging stuff. So I mean, that's that's pretty much standard. Ropes, ladders, and walls. Obviously it all comes down to just building that confidence that you can accomplish something. My name is uh, Sylvia Lee Black. I'm a technical sergeant. 
in the United States Air Force, and I'm a military training instructor. An MTI is an NCO, a stellar NCO who provides that excellence in all we do. Um, integrity first, service before self. Uh, representation of what the Air Force stands for. You can check your security drawer, we can check just your clothing drawer or your wall locker. It's just to see if you're going to still withhold up to the standards. Even if you got all graduation requirements, you can still fail. Does that make sense? Yes, ma'am. But we're not going to get to that level, are we? No, ma'am. Surprise me because I think highly of you. Does it make sense? That's why you're in the position that you're in. And that's why I gave you the position that you have at this moment. Got it? So remember when I told y'all to be a leader, you have to lead by example. You have to set the standard. Your area has to be squared away before you can go look at other people in your area. Got it? And I think that there is not the perfect word to describe a military training instructor. Oh, she got that brim down low! The whole concept of it, I think we really put our hearts into it. You can see the trainings become to airmen, and they just grow with that. The airmen come up to me and tell, tell you what you've done for them. <clears throat> and I... We were actually out on the drill pad, my military training instructor. He was teaching us a right flank. His motivation was, hey, this right flank is going to set you up to march on the bomb run in front of your friends and family and become an airman. He followed it up with saying, you know, you're only going to be able to do this one time in your life unless you come back down here to be a military training instructor. And no kidding, at that time when he said that, I immediately thought in my mind, I was like, all right, done. I want to do it. When I got back to my home unit, one of the first questions I asked was, hey, I really want to be an MPI, how can I do that? I was told, nope. Can't. Not even an option. So kind of crushed that bucket list for a second. <laughs> there was really no backing as to why it wasn't an option. It was just something that, you know, wasn't happening. So guardsmen to become an MPI, not common at all. Was she pregnant? It's so uncommon because it's it's not very well broadcast in my opinion. Uh, we, we do talk a lot about this total force mentality. Uh, that has become so important in everyday life as an airman in general. I don't care if you're active duty guard or reserve, that total force mentality is, is key. I actually went to an enlisted leadership symposium. They actually brought up a special duty assignment. They actually threw out military training instructor. So that door was just open. I didn't, I didn't know when it had opened, I, I didn't know why, and I didn't care. As soon as I, I put on technical sergeant, I actually uh, submitted my my. So I'm talking about become a military training instructor. All, All my instructors, DIs, MTIs, drill sergeants. Did you volunteer or was you selected? Volunteer. Uh, one of four Air National Guardsmen has a military training instructor. Yeah. Try and push it back this place. honestly is probably one of the very very best experiences I've ever had in, in not only my career but my life. I absolutely love being able to affect the lives of those that come into my flights and those that I have the opportunity to interact with. The leadership experiences that are gained are priceless. I right to the left, right to the left. And to take all the knowledge and everything I've learned here, take that back to the Utah Air National Guard, and not just the Utah Air National Guard, but the Air National Guard as a whole. So that's kind of my hope in the long run, is to just bring everything full circle uh, and, and, and make it better for the next generation. All right, y'all, so that was Air Force BMT. This was from actually this year, uh, pretty recent. Um, one common goal for all instructors when they're teaching and whatever boot camp, military training, basic training, is to coach, teach, and mentor, and bring up those in order to win our nation's wars. That's what it's all about with all branches. Um, anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Make sure you drop your comments down below. Let's talk. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe as well. And remember, you only got one life. Stay home would be great. Love yourselves so you can love somebody. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Let me know what y'all want to see. Peace.